Yeah, hi, Bobby. This is Michael from BetterTofelScores.com. So you made a comment or you posted a uh, practice TOEFL essay and TOEFL writing lesson three on one of the password protected pages of your lesson. So you say, hi, Michael, I'm sending another essay. Could you please evaluate it? i like to thank you a lot because your corrections and your lectures make me focus and of course motivates me to write an elegant essay. Thank you very much, Bobby. All right, Bobby, here we go. I hope you don't mind. I'm going to read it uh, with you. And as I read it, I'll probably make some corrections, maybe just a few. All right, so let's see what we have. Okay, so you, let's look at the question first. So the question is, some students prefer to attend a small university, others prefer to attend a big university, discuss the advantages of each, then indicate which type of university you prefer, use specific reasons and details to support your answer. Now, I got good news for you. A lot of students would not answer this correctly, but you have actually directly addressed the two parts of this task. So many students, they forget to look at, discuss the advantages of each. They see the part of the question that says indicate which type of university you prefer. So if you go directly to your position immediately in the essay, you will not score very high. However, you did not do that. So you've done a pretty good job with this. So let's look at your, your intro first. Students have to get their bachelor's or master's in a variety of colleges, universities, which help them to pursue their career. Choosing a big university or a small university uh, is their choices. Let me take a look about advantages of a big and a small university, and that would help me to make a decision. All right, the, the grammar of word choice is not perfect, but it's a good thesis. It addresses both parts of the writing assignment. Your second paragraph, it looks like you're discussing the advantages of uh, a small university in paragraph two. In paragraph three, you discuss the advantages of a large university, and then in the conclusion, you indicate which you prefer and why. So you have directly answered this question. So let's go to paragraph two. Small university has small size classes, which mean small number of students in one class. This makes me more focused. I would put ED there on the end of focus. Uh, on students in the class. For example, I attended my bachelor's. I wouldn't say attended. I would say I got or I completed my bachelor's degree in a small university where they only had a small number of students. The professors and all the other university staff knew everything. Moreover, good word by the way, Bobby, professors knew who the best and worst students, I would make that plural, knew who the best and worst students were in the class. So you need a verb there after, wor after who. In fact, they gave special coaching for the students who had, I would say who had trouble, not troubled, uh, trouble is not a verb, it's an adjective, who had trouble in learning difficult subjects. Eventually, all my classmates got high scores instead of in, I would say, on their finals. In a small university, professors are taking classes directly rather than teaching assistants. I would probably say here teaching classes. I would, I would revise it and say in a small university, professors are teaching classes directly rather than the teaching assistants. In addition, student advisors know all the students in university which help them to choose their major or job. Okay, probably when you get to that third paragraph, you might use something like, on the other hand, or however, because you just started, you just finished talking about advantages of small universities. Now you want to get into the advantages of large universities. So because these are kind of different ideas, probably use some type of transition word to show there is a difference. Or you could use something like, despite the advantages of, of small universities, large universities or a large university has large size classes which have a lot of students in one class. Students can get more interaction. 
because many students uh, are, I would say many students are in one class. A large university has many teaching assistants who help professors if they are not available. For example, one of my friends did his bachelor's, I would say completed or got his bachelor's in a, I would say not name big, but a big named university, maybe big hyphen named. He said most of the time teacher's assistants were, were teaching the classes. A big university conducts, I wouldn't say is conducting, conducts lots of seminars and programs which make professors busy and they could not focus on their students. Uh, despite professors being busy, I would say, despite professors being busy and participating in seminars, new programs and seminars help students to improve their career. Yeah, I don't know. This paragraph is probably not as good as it could be. I mean, the whole purpose here is to discuss the advantages of large universities. But you're saying in here the professors are busy, the teaching assistants are teaching the classes, the professors aren't available. A lot of those ideas you're using in this paragraph, they don't go back to how those almost sound like disadvantages to me. So I think you want to keep that paragraph focused around advantages. Make it unified around that one idea. All right, let's look at your conclusion. Based on, the, I would say based on the above discussion of the advantages of a small and a large university, I believe a small university has more advantages like a strong sense of community, individually designed majors, and... Um, I wouldn't say get to know, I would say more personable professors. Because you're saying community, individual design majors, you're using a noun, a noun, you need to use a noun again, so, and, and then simply say, and personable professors. Personable means that you can get to know those professors. So I think using three nouns in a row would be better in terms of your parallel structure. Moreover, lots of learning opportunities and strong advisory committee. Uh, which is helping students to choose their major regarding um, their ability. I think you don't have a main subject and a main verb there. After moreover, you might say, moreover, there are lots of learning opportunities and a strong advisor committee, which not is helping, but which helps students to choose their career regarding their ability. These are the reasons, or I wouldn't say these are, but get rid of are because I think out, overweigh or outweigh is the verb there. So these reasons outweigh the advantages I don't know you're having trouble with this whole sentence here let me see if we can revise it here. These reasons make a small university more advantageous than a large university. Maybe something like that. All right, Bobby, so how would you score here? Interesting enough. Uh, very nice organization. Uh, you have directly answered the question. That's good. Let me go one more time, look at the conclusion here. Uh, it says here, indicate which type of university you prefer and use reasons and details. Probably in the conclusion, you did say individual design majors and more personable professors. You also said lots of learning opportunities and a strong advisory committee which helps. So you have a lot of big ideas here but you probably still need one or two specific examples to help support that idea in that last paragraph. So maybe a little bit weak. Um, in terms of grammar, uh, you're having a few grammar problems with your sentence structure and particularly with your verb tense, be careful. Ask yourself this question. When do you use the simple present tense and when do you use the present progressive tense or the present continuous? For example, I, I can say right now, I am talking to you right now. However, I would say I am in my office right now. I don't have to say like I am 
I am talking to you in my office right now. I could say that, I guess. But I think there's a few instances in your in your uh, 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 essay where you're using the present progressive when I think the simple present is actually better. So if you want to search that out a little bit, if you go to Google, type in the words the simple present versus V E R S U S versus the present progressive and you'll find a good web page and maybe compare and contrast some sample sentences and I think in many cases you don't want to use the present progressive at least not in the writing like you were using it alright so based on some minor problems uh, uh, I think that this essay probably would score maybe 3.75 to 4.0 uh, it's a good paper, not a perfect paper, but you got a good shot of getting 4.0 out of 5 uh, on this one.